Good morning, everybody. My name is Richard L. Scott, and I'm the Black Christian Geek. Welcome to episode two of season one of Linux and More. I promised in my introductory video that I'd be providing more videos about apps and helpful things for those of us who are using Linux. Today we're going to look at AutoKey. AutoKey is a text ex expander, but for me it's definitely one of those things that's easier to demonstrate than to try to explain. So in this first example, we have what's called phrases. And I'm going to come back to this one, the dummy text. I'm going to create a new one to demonstrate that. So we'll say phrase, and I'm just going to call it BCG, as in Black Christian Geek. Say OK. So for the phrase, I'm going to type out. Help if I have my glasses on. Black. Black Christian Geek, simple. Title case, and then when I come down to abbreviations, I select set, add, and I say BC, BCG. It's important, uh, what I'm about to say next, make sure you say tab, and then once you see the blue highlight goes, you know it's been captured. So that's gonna be my abbreviation. I'm gonna select trigger immediately without requiring a special character. And this is set by default. Remove the abbreviation. So the abbreviation is going to be will be replaced with the full wording trigger, even if it's a part of a word. So if you get to type in quickly and you forget to hit the space bar, it'll still expand. And right now I'm going to say ignore case of the type abbreviation. So it, it doesn't matter if you enter it right now. Uh, hump case, lower case or upper case. It's going to expand out to black Christian geek. Here's something that's very important to mention. If you notice here on the abbreviation, you don't see that abbreviation I type. You have to select save. Once you see sa once you click save, you see it. Another app I like to use is Sublime Text. Uh, I know a lot of uh, other texts have, have migrated over to VS Code from Microsoft, but I still like Sublime Text for now. So when I type B, C, as I hit G, because I hit the, tr I, I set the trigger to autom to automatically expand, it expands out to black Christian geek. And again, if I do it in all caps, it still only expands out to what I have because of that flag I set here. So when we go back here, now I'm going to change that before I said ignore the, the case of the type of the abbreviation. Now, when I say match, depending on how I type the abbreviation, it's going to affect how this is expanded out. So I need to click save again to save my changes. So now if I do all lowercase, black Christian geek will come out all lowercase. If I do it all uppercase, it'll come out all uppercase. So I'm going to do uppercase first. B, C, and as I hit G, Black Christian Geek comes out in all caps. And if I do all lowercase, it comes out all lowercase. So if I want tighter cap, I go capital B, C, capital G, and then it puts it in uppercase. Now I get it that you may not immediately pick up on this the first time um, you, you see this and it does take some muscle memory, but I'm absolutely convinced that if you incorporate this into your workflow, it'll make things a whole lot uh, better, easier and faster for you in in the long run. And I'm going to show you something else while we're doing this. Some that, that I preloaded that I mentioned um, at, at the top of this episode, you see where it says dummy text so if i come here if you if you are a developer uh website designer whatever where you may need something dummy text or something quickly feel if i say d-u-m-m-y text it fills a whole screen 
full of text. And that's something um, that you can do quick and easily to help. And also um, one that, that I preloaded is home address. And if you notice under abbreviation, it has ADR and home ad. So you can have um, multiple things there. So if I come here and say ADR, it expands out to Joe Blow, 123 Main Street, Jackson, Mississippi, 39201. Um, so that's that's another thing that you can use or do if you say or if you need, you know, need your home address. And again, to demonstrate that it's two trigger words, uh, two trigger abbreviations, I can say home ad and it expands out and note that it will always type exactly um, what you have here. So if you misspell something, the misspelling will come out uh, just the same. And I'll, I'll show you one other thing here that, that might help you out. If, if the abbreviation is something common, something else you can do is I, I'm going to come here and I'm going to add tilde. That, that's something I tell save that's something that i use and be sure to save and you see that's the tilde there what's the purpose for that so if i say bcg not, nothing happens and it's what we call a trigger character so if i say bcg and then put that tilde there then it expands out and then this is kind of like a a geek deep dive but the purpose for that is um as you create more um, abbreviation some may be of, of common words like like access for ACC or store for accounting and you can use that trigger character to keep from having to type out um, the full word of the abbreviation is a part of something else maybe like ATL or, or what have you so here here's the site if you go up to help come down to about uh, auto key and go to the website it carries you over to a github site and you can see all all the files it's open source I'll, I'll, i always try to support free and open source software and it shows you uh, other ways to install the software but also if you go to the app store of the distro that you're using and i have i happen to be using farin os during this time, which is a derivative of Ubuntu. So if I say auto key, it'll go and it's, it's going to say uh, launch because I already have it installed or removed. But if I were installing it for the first time, this is where I would come. But if you're running Arch or a Red Hat flavor, all of those will work just the same. There are similar um, tools that you can use for those. I know this is Linux and more, so this is the more. For my Windows friend, if you go to autohotkey.com, this is um, the Windows extraction of fork. That's the word I was looking for, the Windows fork of, of the project. And it's similar, but there's some differences how you build the expansion and um, if you're using the Mac OS, they have this built in and I created a video for that over on my all things Mac channel on YouTube. So if you look for the black Christians, geek, all things Mac, you can find that. Well, um, I'm not being paid for this from them. I'm not being, uh, sponsored by them or endorsed. All, all the thoughts are my own and currently everything that you see are my own thoughts and paid for out of my own pocket so if you have found this beneficial consider giving this video a thumbs up consider subscribing and sharing it with um, others who you think may benefit from this again my name is Richard L. Scott the Black Christian Geek and this has been Linux and more and thank you so much for stopping by I look forward to seeing you in future episodes God bless <music>